In this video, we'd like to demonstrate a few troubleshooting tips for the CardioBit AT102G2. One of the most common complaints that we have is that the unit is not transmitting or connecting to the server. So the first thing you want to look at is this icon here at the very top. Now this icon will let you know whether or not you're connected either to a Wi-Fi network or to the server or if you're not. Now in this case, if you notice, you have an X here. Now that X indicates is that you're not connected to anything, okay? So one of the first things that we want to go ahead and do is check the connectivity settings that we have. So we'll access that by pressing the main menu button over here. All right, and then selecting the settings button. All right, and now we're going to use the up and down arrow keys here to navigate down to our designated area in which we are trying to Look for the connectivity settings. So let's go into WLAN, okay? Now here's where you'll set your Wi-Fi network. So um, in order to access this side on the right, what you first must do is have your uh, have the WLAN selected as seen here. Press OK. Now it's in blue and you're able to move up and down here on the right side now. So your Wi-Fi is currently enabled. Okay, so we can move on to the next one. Now the SSID here, this is where we'll select the Wi-Fi network that we choose to connect to. All right, so once again, you have it highlighted in black. So let's press OK to highlight it in blue. And now we can go ahead and, uh, and select um, the networks. Now, in order to browse the networks, you have here toward the bottom, browse networks. We're gonna go ahead and press that. And it's going to show you a list of all the different Wi-Fi networks available. In this case, we're going to go so select uh, Schiller Americas. We're going to press this green button here for OK. And now we have the selected Wi-Fi network here. All right. Now to enter the password, as you see, this one automatically fills in. But uh, when selecting your Wi-Fi network, please make sure that you enter the password correctly and once you do so you can go ahead and move forward by selecting apply here at the bottom right corner now take a look here at the top okay you no longer have an x you actually now have a black wi-fi icon okay now that black wi-fi icon indicates that you are now connected to the Wi-Fi network. All right, so you go, you try to do a uh, transmitter report and for whatever reason, your, your transmission is still failing. So we've ensured that everything is okay here. So the next thing you wanna do actually, so let's go back, let's move back to the left side here and with your up arrow key, go up to EMR integration, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and press okay. And now we're able to select the different fields here. So EMR integration, again, this actually has to, uh, so you have to select which software is installed on the customer's end. So in this case, we're selecting Schiller server, as you can already see here. All right. Um, and then the host. Now in the host is actually where your IP address goes. Now the IP address must be the one to the server um, and it must be entered correctly. OK, otherwise the um, transmitting over to the server will fail. OK, so we, we went ahead, OK, entered the IP address and, you know, our password is entered. OK, let's go ahead and test the connection. Testing the connection. Well, the connection is actually still failing. So again, let's go ahead. We're going to press OK, get out of here. Um, and then we're, we have to look again on our information and uh, ensure that everything is inserted properly. Look at my IP address, and well, what I notice actually, excuse me for a second, my IP address is missing a digit. So it's actually 192.168.0.67. So let's go ahead and enter that seven, press OK. And then you would get a message indicating that you have successfully connected to the server. And we're gonna go ahead and press OK by pressing the screen button here. All right, and if you notice now, your black icon, uh, your black Wi-Fi icon has now converted from black to green. Now, when you have a green Wi-Fi icon, that indicates that you are now connected to both Wi-Fi network and the server, all right? Now, another common issue that our end users tend to come across is how to properly install the paper. 
Now, on the AT102G2, you'll notice that toward the bottom left side, we have a release latch for the paper drawer. So we'll go ahead and gently press on this. That will release your paper tray as you see here. And inside you'll find a paper. Now underneath the paper tray, you do have a small circular gap in which you could use to help you remove the paper very smoothly, all right? Now, if you notice on the actual paper, you'll see black registration marks located at the top and the left section on the left side of the paper, okay? Now, those black registration marks must always be on the left side on the paper, not on the right, all right? If you put it anywhere else other than this section, your unit will not detect the paper. And when that happens, if your unit's not detecting the paper, what's happening is that the paper keeps coming out and coming out and coming out and blank sheets of paper until it times out. And what's happening is that the unit is not seeing these black registration marks. So again, very important that these black registration marks are located at the top and uh, bottom of the left side of the paper. All right, so once you have your sheet of paper, your uh, stack of paper in, We'll lift that first sheet up like this and gently, excuse me, gently close that paper drawer. Make sure it clicks. Once it's clicked, you've secured the paper drawer. And of course you have this, uh, this little bit of sheet hanging out. So what you'll want to do is go ahead on this, on your keyboard, you'll press this red button here one time. And that would actually roll out your paper until the next perforation. Well, this concludes our demonstration. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to the technicians at Schiller Americas or at your local distributor.